it's time for this project I had these stupid hoses on here for far too long you know I didn't buy the billet tech kit I don't know they probably came with the hoses as well the normal crappy ones here plain old rubber junk but I'm gonna swap those out with some black steel braided and also the kit for the K&N came with this hose but I'm not happy about that bend that goes it's attached down here hello so I'm gonna replace that hose as well this is what we're working with I originally bought um, some of this from this one website but I didn't realize <laughs> that for the first hose of the catch can that I needed more than 12 inches I actually needed 15 and they only sell this in foot so that was no good then I found a website that sold it in I think 5, 10, 15 feet and if you look at them it's actually better quality here maybe it's just me it looks shinier I like it better more refined but I'm gonna cut these with a nice little hacksaw and then I'm gonna put these on the ends little fittings clamps try to keep up with that black blue and uh, stainless look so we'll get right into it so I'm far from any kind of expert when it comes to the shenanigans but I guess what we're gonna do is start by you know measuring these lining these up I'm gonna put a little tape here um, from what I was reading online and what I was told as long as you got some tape through where you're cutting it shouldn't unravel as much um, I don't know if I believe that or not and because it's me doing it I expect it to go full-blown batshit crazy on me because everything always does so we're gonna find out right now I'm gonna tape this off after I measure this I'm gonna lock some of this hose into my clamp and I'm gonna hacksaw the son of a bitch and if it falls apart I'm gonna look like an idiot but that's okay because amusing things get subscribers so here's a nice disclaimer I only pretend to know everything I really don't know everything so if this goes horribly wrong that's why I don't see it being that difficult it's a flipping hose for Christmas sakes here but we're gonna see I'm gonna cut this on that look at that beautifully super straight line all things considered that's not that bad toward the end you know the next couple cuts I'll learn but it only looks a little weird because there's like fluffy shit all over there but it's not that bad it's not like fraying like I thought it would so disaster averted and it's fun because I'm learning about this crap while I'm doing it so for those of you that don't know much about these little end caps because I didn't know much about these I always saw them on pictures and I'm like well that looks cool but how do you do it basically it just goes it slides onto this piece onto the hose and then you're just gonna you're gonna twist it and push it on until focus or no focus or nah okay until that goes up higher so we're gonna twist that a little bit more should be decent and then basically it's just like a finishing cap I guess and then you just position these where you want them to be so that they're not showing and all you're gonna see is this deliciousness and this is what our new hose is gonna look like you know pop that bad boy in there and I think it's gonna give a nice little contrast this first one went on easy and I think it looks pretty sweet I think it looks pretty damn sweet now for this one 
here's the only problem with this car. This right here, like a focus on this shit, it's attached. So I can't push this back, which means I'm gonna have a piece of fucking steel braided hose from here. Don't worry about all that, that's sweat, good stuff, to down there. What I might do is get some of this stuff. It's uh, just a cover. I might get a little of that and put it over that as like a little finishing piece, kind of, so it doesn't look as shitty. Um, I don't know. It's still going to look a little bit weird just because that's going to be basically chilling here. You know, this hose goes on like this. And that is a wrap. So, just gonna do a quick overview. Came out pretty cool. I don't know. And this one was a pain in the ass because originally there was like some kind of weird S shape. So, overall, it looks good. Like I said, the only thing bugging the shit out of me right now is this. But, as I mentioned, I was going to just cut this off. <laughs> but I'm going to buy a small little thing of this online tonight, I think. And here's the other good news. I ordered a new camera. Nothing super crazy fancy, but it's going to be here hopefully sort of soon. So, I won't have to film on my Android phone anymore, thank God. And hopefully the quality's better, hopefully the audio is better, and the pictures and everything will just get an improvement, hopefully. We shall see. But when that comes, I'll do a little unboxing type review of that, and I'll take the car somewhere and I'll do a bit of like a side-by-side -side comparison of audio and visual of the car, so you could see if there is a difference. But... Other than that, thank you for watching.